take a look at the first floating city in the world. Project organizers have claimed that the world's first floating metropolis would be created off the coast of South Korea by 2025 as a method for mankind to withstand rising sea levels. The floating metropolis, which will be created off the coast of Busan and backed by the UN, will be a flood-proof infrastructure made up of multiple man-made islands that would all rise with the sea to eliminate the possibility of flooding. The self-sufficient city would generate power via rooftop solar panels, grow its own food and fresh water, and use futuristic boat pods to transfer residents between the islands. Because its floating platforms would be moored to the sea below, it will be able to endure natural calamities such as floods, tsunamis, and Category 5 hurricanes. A historic agreement struck between Busan Metropolitan Metropolis of the Republic of Korea, UN Habitat, and New York designers Oceanics will soon see construction of the floating city, which is expected to cost $200 million, 150 million pounds. It's unknown whether or not residents would be charged to live there, or how much rent will be. Work is still on, according to the firm, to identify who the inhabitants will be and how they will be picked. The actual location of the floating island, prototype, is likewise unknown, while Oceanics suggests that it might be right off Busan North Port. Sustainable floating cities are one of the climate adaption techniques we have at our disposal. Let us learn to live in peace with water instead of battling it, said Maimuna Mode Sharif, executive director of UN Habitat. Through the floating city concept, we hope to create climate adaption and nature-based solutions and Busan is an excellent location to test the prototype. According to Business Insider, each island will be hexagonal in shape and have a limestone layer that is two to three times tougher than concrete yet still buoyant. Scallops, kelp, and other seafood could be kept in cages beneath each platform, and fish excrement might be utilized to fertilize plants. Oceanics claims that residents will have to eat a mainly plant-based diet which will decrease the demand on space, energy, and water resources. Aeroponic and aquaponic systems, as well as regular outdoor farms and greenhouses, will be used to effectively cultivate organic vegetables. Aeroponics is the practice of growing plants without the need of soil in an air or mist environment, whereas aquaponics is the practice of growing plants and breeding fish with the aid of beneficial bacteria. Locally sourced materials such as fast-growing bamboo with six times the tensile strength of steel and a zero-carbon footprint, would be prioritized in the city's construction. According to Oceanics, all erected structures in the city would be maintained below seven stories to produce a low center of gravity and withstand wind. The building's roofs will maximize shaded areas on the inside, providing comfort and lower cooling costs while maximizing roof area for solar capture. Summers in Busan are often hot and muggy, so the roofs will maximize shaded areas on the inside, providing comfort and lower cooling costs while maximizing roof area for solar capture. The city's size has yet to be determined, but Oceanics predicts that bigger communities encompassing 75 hectares might house up to 10,000 people. The city will also have a public plaza, a market, and centers for spirituality, learning, health, sport, and culture according to Oceanics, which is said to be in negotiations with at least 10 other governments about developing other floating towns. According to Business Insider, the total cost of the project is now estimated at $200 million, although this might rise depending on materials and the final design, which is still being finalized. With the complicated changes that coastal cities are undergoing, we need a new vision in which people, environment, and technology can coexist. Busan Mayor Park Hyong Jun stated. There is no better site than Busan to take the initial step toward long-term human settlements on the sea, proudly developed by Korea for the rest of the globe. Rapid urban population expansion, according to the project leaders, is pushing people closer to the water, driving up housing costs and forcing the poorest families away. Rising sea levels and floods threaten Busan, like they do many other coastal cities threatening billions of dollars in infrastructure and forcing millions of climate refugees to flee their homes. Two out of every five people on the planet live within 60 miles of the coast, and 90% of the world's megacities are at risk from rising sea levels. 
Oceanics co-founders Itai Matamom and Mark Collins Chen remarked, Sea level rise is a tremendous danger, but sustainable floating infrastructure can assist address this coming calamity.